There are four reasons, I think, why MMP is absolutely crucial to the future of our democracy. Uh, and the first one is, you know, what uh, we in my trade call path dependency. And my concern would be this. Should, in 2011, New Zealanders vote for a change away from MMP, not only do we lose the opportunity for a review of MMP, which can only be obtained uh, through a status quo vote, or keeping that system, but we would then have essentially twice in a generation signalled electoral system and change. And so my concern then is if that then follows through to changing electoral systems again by 2017, we now have two examples of electoral, major electoral system change. How much easier then for a future generation of New Zealand voters who may be affected by transitory political frustration that will build up again, as it inevitably will, to then prompt a third change? And if you do it three times, what's going to stop it fourth? And so eventually you get to a stage where we'll have electoral system instability. And that is a risk I don't think we as a nation should take. Uh, so that is what I mean by path dependency. That basically we've got a forking point in the 2011 referendum. If we take the wrong path, we will never ever be able to return to that original intersection point again because the ground will have forever shifted. Um, second reason. And I think this is another uh, powerful reason for maintaining the status quo, and that is the represent, uh, representativeness that MMP has provided. It is absolutely indisputable that MMP has delivered a more representative democracy to New Zealanders. More Māori, more women, more Pacifica, and our first wave of other ethnic Kiwis uh, have gained representation in Parliament because of the rules of MMP. All of the alternatives that are listed there on the referendum vote, supplementary member, first past the post, preferential vote and STB, three of them you can just simply you know with complete certainty that they will lead to a less uh, representative democracy. And that leads to my third point, which is actually the goodness of fit between our current electoral system and our fast evolving demographics, right? Nine percent of New Zealanders are now Asian Kiwis, seven percent are Pacifica Kiwis, fifteen percent identify as Maori. Now we need a system that actually can politically gives the opportunity for political integration of all our disparate and diverse communities. Again, if we move away from this proportional system to a less proportional system, <coughs> it is guaranteed that we're getting further away from that goodness of fit that already exists. And so we're actually letting down future generations of New Zealanders and multicultural New Zealand if we should move to a less proportional system. And finally, and frankly I think this is the easiest sell uh, if you're talking to people who aren't politically engaged, and that is the, uh, that MMP has given us as close as we're likely to ever get uh, of our votes being equal. A vote in Otara is worth the same as a vote in Otago. Now, under all the other electoral system alternatives, every, each of them will mean our votes are less equal. And, you know, that should be an easy sell. Um, but that would be the disproportionate effect of change. 